So now I'm going to show you how to set up your web hosting with SiteGround. Um, I highly recommend SiteGround. It's a great price. It's a great service. They've got good support. And the best part at the moment for me is that they include SSL certificates for free, whereas most other hosts actually charge a large amount of money and they often don't really make it clear what you'll get charged until you go to buy it. Um, and it can really add up, especially if they make you buy a dedicated IP as well. So I'm going to go through setting up one in SiteGround. Bear in mind, they often change their layout a little bit of how they do this, trying to get higher conversions. Um, so you may not see exactly the same, but it will be pretty much the same, okay? You'll do the same process. Um, so shared hosting, that's fine for a new site. Um, you can see it sort of says an amount of traffic. If you have an existing site and you're moving across, you might want to think about one of the other ones. Um, but for starting out, this one is fine. Now these prices will just go to whatever your currency is, so they will vary a bit. So you mightn't see $4.95 a month, that's because this is in Australian dollars. So if you were seeing it like in US, it would be cheaper or other currencies. So we just click get started. Um, so you can register a new domain name. Now look, it's $30 a year, so I recommend you buy it at, at name silo. Um, so in this example, I already have a domain. I'm just using one that I already have and I don't really use. So proceed. It's taking its time, here we go. So now you're just gonna to wanna to fill in, you know, a password, your email, um, your address, your payment information. Um, and then this is the bit, because I, I won't show you me filling in these, I'm sure you can work out your own address and your, your own credit card number. Um, and then you hit this hosting service. So um, you can change this, you know, startup will be fine for most of us to start with. Data center, um, I would definitely change that to whatever's most relevant. Where's your audience? You know, if you're targeting a USA audience, then pick USA. Um, European, you know, pick a European one. Just pick whatever's going to be closest to where you see the majority of people coming to your website. So I'm going to pick USA. Now, time period. Um, now, I do recommend you pick as long as you're happy to pay for here because this $4.95 price or whatever price you're paying, um, it's, it is a great price, right? It's half price on normal. So if you, you pick like 36 months, three years, then you'll get three years of paying that price before it will go up. Um, so the longer you can commit to, you know, the cheaper it will be in the long run. Um, but it doesn't really matter. That's up to you. And you can see um, these other things, don't worry about them. You might want it to be checked daily if you're worried about that, that's up to you really. And then you just need to tick and confirm um, that you agree to this. So I'm just gonna disappear for a minute and fill in those details and I'll be back. Okay, so on the next screen, you hopefully see this, that it's all successful. Okay, now we wanna to proceed to the customer area. Now, what we wanna do is actually get the site up and running. So let's click on this, set up in two minutes. So we wanna start a new website. Okay, so you might wanna transfer if, you, if you're moving an existing site, so you would click that, but say you've got a new one. Just press proceed. Okay, so what type of website is it? You know, probably if you're listening to me, it's a personal blog. If you're doing a niche site, that's fine too. Um, so we want to use WordPress, so we just select that. Okay, so these are your login details for WordPress. So you're going to use your email. Now your username, um, it doesn't really matter what you pick here, but you don't want it to be too easily guessable. So definitely avoid admin. That's what most people do in WordPress. So you just make it even easier to get. So I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to pick something totally random, make it even harder, make sure you obviously store that somewhere um, and then, you know, do a, a tricky password if you can. Mine's pretty weak, but I'm not going to keep this website, so it's okay. Um, now, if you want to, you can pick a theme right here. It doesn't really matter. You, you know, really, you're going to want to put a bit of effort into picking a theme. So um, I would just leave that till you get in there. Okay, so now it's saying that it's all set up. It is really simple to set up WordPress, especially in SiteGround. 
Um, so there's my fabulous username and password. It made me go super tricky, so that's good really. Um, so they already have it and now you can actually go log into the admin version of your site and you're all set to go and do your next steps. It's already existing. It's, it's beautiful.